Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to get this purple eye look and I'm wearing a unicorn headband, it kind of goes with the look, I guess. It's quite a simple look using only Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. If you want to see how I got this look, just carry on watching. For the eyes, I'm going to use the Salted Caramel Chocolate Love Palette, the Soap Does Nails collaboration and the Dark Rain palette from the Halloween collection. I'm going to be using mainly purples, blues, silvers and blacks. Silvers? I don't know. Um, and I don't know, we'll just see what we do. Okay, so my eyes have already been primed, I just use concealer and then I'm going to put some powder on top. So I'm just using the Collection Press Powder in the shade Ivory. And while I'm here, I'm also going to put a lot of powder underneath my eye in case there's any fallout, then I can just brush it away. On an angled fluffy brush, I'm going to take a light beige shade just to set my lid. So I'm going to use pancakes from the Sofa's Nails palette, just all over the lid. I'm going to use Loyal Subject from the Dark Rain palette with the same brush and then just mainly in the crease and then all over the lid. So I'm taking it in the crease and then just blending it upwards. It looks a bit messy but we'll tidy it up later. The thing I love about Makeup Revolution palettes is that like all of the ones I have come with mirrors so they're really useful and because there's so many colours in all of the palettes you could do one makeup look using one palette and then you, you've, you'd have the mirror as well for it so that's my favourite thing about them. My favourite is the Soap Does Nails one and the pigmentation is amazing, there's so many colours. Okay now it's blended, it's looking a little bit better, still a bit muddy but we're going to change that when we add some colour. So I'm going to take a more rounded fluffy brush now. I'm going to choose the colour Heavenly from the Chocolate Bar palette. It's a light pink, I'm going to take quite a lot and then again in the crease and all over the lid. Just trying to soften it out a little bit. We've got the base colours and then now I'm going to add some purple. So on a flatter brush I'm going to be taking the purple from the Dark Rain palette. I'm just going to put that all over the lid to start with. The dark rain palette's really good because it's got the matte colours and it also has the same colours and glick. Can you hear him? My fiance is shouting at FIFA. It's a bit messy but we'll tidy it up. Now that that's on my lid really messily, I'm going to blend it out with the rounded fluffy brush. There was some fallout under my eye so I'm just going to brush that away. And then with the first brush we used, I'm going to take the white from Social's Nails palette, it's called Penguin. I'm just going to put it underneath here, where some of the purple has gone down, just to crisp it up a little bit. This colour hasn't taken very nicely to some parts of my eyelid. You probably won't be able to see it, but it goes dark to light. I don't know if that's just because I haven't blended it very well. So I'm going to add a different colour on the lid, on top. Okay, this is going to look fairly equal. They're still a bit messy, but we'll go with it. So I'm going to take a flat brush and take the purple colour from the Sofa's Nails palette called Mixed Berries. I'm going to pat it onto the lid. I will admit there's quite a lot of fallout with these palettes, but I don't mind the fallout. The palettes are super cheap, so it's kind of worth it. You just kind of have to work a little bit more to get the desired effect. Okay, now I'm going to darken up the corners a little bit. I'm going to take the black from the Soap Does Nails palettes, which is called Nightmare, just on the outer corners, and then bring it in. And then again, I'm just going to blend with the rounded fluffy brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go under the eye. I'm going to use a thin brush with some of the 
purple from the dark rain palette and then just take that all along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to add some black, so on the same brush I'm just going to take the black from the Slow Just Nails palette, start with the outside and then just drag it in halfway. I'm going for quite a dramatic look, so I'm going to put some black pencil eyeliner on my waterline. I usually use my black Barry M eyeliner, but I can't find it, so I'm just using one that I got from eBay. I have used this before and I haven't had a problem with it, so that's fine, but if you're using makeup from eBay, just be careful because you might not react well with the product. I've just realised that the eyes really aren't blended very well. You, can, you probably can't see it far from far, but up close it's really bad. So I'm just going to take the fluffy brush with the light pink colour from the chocolate bar palette and just try and blend it all in together. I am going to take another fluffy brush, this one's quite cool, it's got a fluffy brush on one end and then like a flat synthetic brush on the other end. I'm going to take the fluffy side and the colour Rain from the Dark Rain palette and I'm going to put that on the centre of my lid. It doesn't add much but it adds a little bit of shine. And then again I'm just going to darken out the corners with black. I'm going to add some eyeliner and then I'll be back. It looks a bit dodgy at the moment but I've just darkened the do bottom of my eyes by dragging along the eyeliner and then using an eyeshadow brush to smudge it in. I'm just going to use a wet cotton bud to even it out a bit. Okay so I've done my eyeliner, it's a bit extreme and it's not equal on both sides which is a bit annoying but I was starting to get fed up with it so we'll just go with it. Okay it's quite a big wing and it's quite thick but I like it and I think this it goes with this look because it's quite an extreme look. So now I'm just going to darken up the edges again, add a bit more definition into the eyes and then we will carry on. Okay so now I'm going to do some highlighting. I'm going to use the Soaked Up Nails Highlight Palette and I'm going to use the purple shade because it kind of goes with the look. So I'm going to use the purple underneath the brow bone. I'm also going to use it in the inner corner and also I'm going to use it right in the centre of the lid. Just going to blend that out with a fluffy brush. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Miss Baby Roll Mascara, which looks like this. And I absolutely love it because I'm not very good at putting on false lashes so it's nice to be able to have a fulfilling mascara. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of a light colour underneath the eyes. I'm going to use the pink from the Sofa Does Nails palette, the light sparkly pink. Just run it under the lash line a tiny bit. And then now for the lips. I'm using a dark purple liquid lipstick. I'm going to line my lips first and I'm just again using a lip liner from eBay. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm happy with how the colours turned out, but I'm really not happy with the eyeliner because it's so uneven. This is it, let me know what you think about it. If you want to know how I do my foundation, my eyebrows, my highlight, etc, um, there will be a video of that coming up in my channel, so keep an eye out for that. It might even be up by the time you're watching this, so go and have a look at that. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what to do next, what kind of colours you want me to do. I've got quite a lot of eyeshadow colours in all of the palettes that I have, but I don't know what colours to do next, what kind of theme to do. Thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye!